And that is a quick preview of what you can expect from Crore as the highest sitting train station in the UK. I mean, that's a pretty fun fact. And you could feel it. You could definitely feel it in the lungs, absolutely. But it was an early one. It was a 7.44 departure from Fort William. And what would a return set you back for Fort William to Crore? I mean, it's about a 48-minute journey uh, sitting in a bit wet. 17.20, which I think, right, 17.20 simply for the journey might seem a bit steep right i think train prices in general these days folks is, are quite um expensive but you know if you're actually going there to walk and explore i mean the fuse alone are worth it and that's the second day in a row here on this channel that i've completely and utterly marked out about fuse and all that good stuff but the reality here yeah, i'm not talking about morrison's there in the background even though morrison's is great i'm not going to bury morrison's too much but the fuse of ben nevis and co you know, even going through like Spin Bridge, Roy Bridge, Tolik, all that stuff, you get into Crow, man, and seeing you get off that train and you just look, it's 360 degree orgasm. I mean, that that is what it is. Um, not exactly like as you can see, as you're pulling it forward, you, you've got a, you've got a Morrison's, you've got a Lidl, you've got all that stuff. But when you get the Crow, the 17.20 return that you paid is absolutely well worth it. And if you've never been to Crow, like I hadn't been until today um then make sure you go try it out because it's phenomenal man it's it's incredible like the walks you can do now one of the paths was closed for whatever reason right not too sure why um but the worst thing you could do is just go there right walk across the tracks which is actually a, a unique concept because obviously there's not many train stations you just walk across tracks now you do get yeah level crossings etc i don't need to explain the dynamic folks of level crossings um as we pass fort william no, that's not Fort William Football Stadium, is it? No, it was in the background there. It was once the worst team in Scotland. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, but you could just easily go into the wee cafe that they've got and sit there and not explore. But you need to walk around, man. What, for me, actually literally takes your breath away because the altitude. <laughs> Even though, I mean, if I say altitude, it's not like you're you know, on top of Ben Nevis in terms of high, like, but it's relatively high. But it's the quietness. It's how quiet you, the surroundings are. Like, if you sit and you just don't do anything, it's eerily quiet. You would know if there was a, a tiger or something chasing you because you would hear it for about 20 miles away. But anyway, guys, strap in. This video is great. And I've got a bit of a journey to get there. And I filmed most of it. And uh, aye, if you want to see more travel content on this channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It is international breaks. So I thought, why not bless people with a wee bit of this? But uh, if you're looking for football, don't worry, because Rangers will be back soon enough. But also Scotland against Northern Ireland tonight on the telly. One of our friendlies need to win, actually. I'll tell you what, it'll be interesting to check out what the uh, starting 11 is for that game. Um, as Rangers just sent me a text about 15% off. That's what I call brilliant. But here, strap in, enjoy the music. We'll talk about it later on here in this video. And uh, we'll have to see, actually, will we? Because Angus Gunn, Robertson, McTominay, Cooper, Tierney, McGinn, Dykes, Christie, Hendry, Gilmore, Nathan Patterson. Oh, come on. Lewis Ferguson. He, he deserves a start, man. He doesn't even start Lauren Shankland. Anyway, strap in. Great wee few.
and we are here in Karoor. And I tell you what, what would you rate out of 10, Amy? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of Scooby Snacks. Yeah, there is a dog, probably would like some Scooby Snacks, but, you know, probably a wee bit cold, but what do you expect in the wilderness, folks? But it's things like this. They make you go, I'm proud to be yep. Scottish. You're proud to be British. Nay. Nay. No? Nah. I'd say that on this channel. Yep. <laughs> but in all seriousness, here, yo, it's not man made, right? It's. Oh no. Man -made. Scott. Alright, like, yeah, we inherited it. It's not. No, it's not like the fourth rail bridge, etc. But, you know, you can't just help but look at this and be like. That's, that's epic. When you walk, it's like a 360 degree. You know, you're not looking three quarters, that's great. Other quarter, there's graffiti. Yeah. Or a Ned. It's great. Great stuff, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 as well. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed.
Yeah, folks, and to wrap up this video, as you can see here is the journey that it takes about 48 minutes. You can see, if it took a straight line, all right, you'd probably get there a lot quicker, but you can't take a straight line through a mountain, especially when this was already in play. But that is it, 1720, great, crow, if you've not done it, do it. I'll be back, don't know when, but here. See it in pure snowy conditions. Crawler would be unreal. Now, there was quite a lot of snow on the mountains, but um, I believe it's actually supposed to be snow overnight, but that's just the way it's worked. So if you want more content like this, leave a wee comment down below. But if you don't, then you can even comment that. Because quite frankly, that would be a, I was going to say quite frankly, I don't give a damn, but whatever. Whatever you just want, but yeah. It's fun to bring new content, especially during an international break. It's just felt like it is. If this international break has felt like it's lasted years, but uh, anyway, folks, 1720, well deserved. Two great journeys in a row. And I'll be back very soon with some more content.